Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to your review channel. Today we're talking about the x rex large digital wall clock Wi-Fi 16.5 inch huge screen. I'm doing a quick unboxing. We're gonna take a look at this clock. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's take a look and see what we have inside. Okay guys, so let's, uh, let's take a look inside. Oh, again, I did say it's Wi-Fi and auto dimming. Uh, great for home and office, but really what I think this is really, really good for, people who have vision impairment and they can't see the time really well, this is a perfect solution, honestly. This works fantastic. Let's just take a quick look unboxing and see what's in the package, okay? Uh, so we do have, let's take everything out here. So let's take a look, let's open up the uh, clock and see what's in the package first. All right, so everything is nicely packaged, like I said. This is a mounting for the mounting of the water mount the clock on the wall and also it can freestand on a desk so however you want to mount it so this is really nice that they included this you just basically tape this up you drill your holes in the middle and basically that's where you mount your clock so that's easy enough i like that okay it comes with an easy to read manual a couple of things you do have to know uh, when you're setting up the Wi-Fi. I'll talk, I'll talk about that in a minute. So I'll teach you how to set the Wi-Fi up. I'll give you the, um, the, pro the process. So it's very important. So stay towards the, little, towards the end of the video and I'll talk about the process of the Wi-Fi. It's a little tricky, but once you know how to do it, it's easy. So that's it. So in manual is very easy to use. It does come with batteries installed. Let's take a look at the back of it. Here's the back of the, uh, of the clock. Okay, uh, it does have a stand. As you can see here, so you can stand it up like this here, okay? Here's a compartment where you plug in the AC power back here. It's hard to see, but it's back here. And it did come with batteries installed, so just so you know. So keep that in mind before I talk about the Wi-Fi, okay? Um, here are all the settings over here on the side of the, uh, of the device. You can do snooze. You can set the alarm and time and date, 24 and 12 hours. You can do military, um, Celsius and Fahrenheit, set alarm, and also do timers. So all the controls are here you can do. Um, on the clock itself, if you wish. Also, here's the, it does come with the power supply, which is awesome, nice brick power supply. That's really good, I like that. And you have the battery backup. So if the power goes out, you have battery backup for the time. So you don't have to worry about that. And it does come with a handy dandy remote control. And that's really good. And that's important. So you can do all the functionalities on the remote control. So once it's up on the wall, you can actually control all the features on the clock itself. Okay guys, once I plugged in the power brick, I'm gonna plug in the power, actually plug itself in the back of the battery compartment. You just plug it right back here, and here are the batteries are here for the battery backup, like I told you before. And let's turn it around and see what it looks like. And there you go. Super clear, super clean. I love this clock. It is big, it's bright, and it's really, really cool. It's got auto dimming, which is really important. It's got Wi-Fi, which I set up already, as you can see that. I'm gonna pull this off and you can just see how nice and clean this is. Like that. You can see how beautiful the display this is. Really crystal clear. You can see here, it is super sharp. I absolutely love this clock. It's made very, very well. It's light plastic. It's not heavy. It's easy to read. It's got the time, which is easy to read. It's got the temperature. It's got the day and the date. Okay, so let's hook up to the Wi-Fi. And once you have it hooked up, once it have you hooked up to the Wi-Fi, it automatically just sets everything, the date, time, all that kind of stuff. And the temperature, it reads with the sensor and actually the device itself. Really, really nice. Honestly, the quality build, I like it a lot. Not too big, right? Not too fat, so it's thin. So it's going to stay on the wall. It's going to look on the wall. It's going to look awesome. As you can see, it looks really awesome even here. I love the way it looks. It's fantastic build quality. So here's some of the features here. So you can have you have a timer. You have an up and down timer. You can set timers. So here's a timer. Let's see, I want to set out for a workout. Hit enter. Here's the timer. Uh, how long do I want to work out for? Let's say I want to work out just for two minutes. Hit the set button. And basically, we'll start counting down right here. And here's a two minute timer right there. You can see that, really simple to use. And we can exit out of that, just hit the exit button. Right here, exit button. So it's really laid out, very, very simple. You have the hour, the minutes. Uh, like I said, you can manually make it lighter and brighter, darker and brighter. You can manually control everything there is to control in the back, as well as on the actual timer. You can shut the display off if it's too bright for you. Just hit the off button and shuts off the whole display, which is really a great functionality. This is a super remote and Wi-Fi. Don't forget Wi-Fi. So, do I love the clock? Absolutely. Very simple to use. There's not a lot to talk about. It's just simple operations. Everything's in the back here, like I showed you before. All the connections, super easy right here in the back. You have a snooze button. You have a set hour, again, minute, uh, 12 hour or 24, so military. 
Fahrenheit and Celsius, alarm set and timer. So everything is super simple and super easy to you. Also brightness adjustment, you can have on high, low or just have automatic. So I suggest automatic has a sensor right back here so it senses the light so it knows what to do and what time to do things at. Uh, so I love the way it's made. I love the build on it. It has an alarm, has all kinds of cool alarm sounds. Um, and so the manual, the manual is easy to read. Um, it does have a very large, hard to see, sorry, that's a little blown out there, uh, a large manual. Uh, so it's easy to read, easy, easy to understand on the manual. So not a problem with that whatsoever. It's built well, it's got a good quality, but I'll tell you the secret about setting the Wi-Fi. So in the manual, it's a little confusing about setting the Wi-Fi. So when you get the device, it comes with the batteries in the back. And this is super important, okay? So the batteries in the back. So to set the Wi-Fi, and it didn't really, wasn't really clear in the manual, or maybe I just didn't understand it. It's possible, listen, I, I'm just learning myself with all this stuff. It comes with the batteries. So the batteries have to be removed first. Okay, take off the batteries. Um, and then and don't plug it in yet. And then hold down the set and the alarm button at the same time. Um, hold down, just push this and put, put the power in, keep the batteries out, it'll beep. And that's how the Wi-Fi is um, initialized into the actual device. So once that's set up, it turns on a signal just like that. And then it'll start doing its own thing. That, actually the timer was done. Let's get out of that. Um, uh, so. That's how you, that's a, so once you do that, so you won't see the Wi-Fi signal yet. You go to your phone and you follow the instructions, okay? You put in, um, you find that the, the actual, it'll show you on your phone, it'll come up as, um, and I'll tell you what it is, HQX2128, you find that on your phone. You click on that, uh, then you open up a web browser on your phone, because you have to shut off your own Wi-Fi. Web browser on your phone, put in the code it tells you, and then once it connects, boom the Wi-Fi connect. So that's kind of how that works. So it's pretty simple to do, but just take out the batteries first. Don't plug it in. Hold down those two buttons like I told you, and then you'll set the Wi-Fi. It will be initialized. You'll see it on your phone and then follow the instructions after that. It's pretty easy to do after that. So that's it. So my overall impressions that I love it. It's nice and big. It's bright. You can see it's super clean, super great quality, fantastic value for the money. All right, guys, I'll leave a link down below for this product. If you have any questions or any comments, leave down below. Leave some comments down below. It helps me out quite a bit uh, on my channel. Give me some thumbs up and likes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I give you some information. If I brought you some value, also consider that super thanks in the bottom of the video. Uh, that helps uh, support my channel. Everything I do raise goes back into the channel so I can continue doing more videos to teach you how to use things that you buy online. And that's what it's all about. And so I hope I brought you that value as well. And uh, any other questions or comments, leave down below. Hit the, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments, guys. Leave some comments. And I'll leave some other videos as well at the end of this video. Uh, so this is a great company. I love the quality so far. So far, so good. I love it. It looks great. And um, all in all, it's an A-plus in my book. All right, guys, appreciate it as always. And watch these videos.